Hurd at 12-0, taking on the 12-0 Jesuit Marauders. Elk Grove has trailed for only 26 seconds all season, and this is why the Hurd doesn't waste time marching down the field. Rick Cottingham fails the opening kickoff, takes it back deep into Jesuit territory. Then it's big, Lance Briggs, 38 yards here, down to the one, 154 yards on the night for Briggs. And the record crowd of over 18,000 would watch Ryan Dinwiddie do the rest. Colin his own number, the keeper, puts Elk Grove ahead, 7-zip. Jesuit QB Brian Carnes picked off once all season before this game, make it twice. They go back to work methodically. On the ground, Lance Briggs, third and nine, he picks up 22 yards. And from there, Jeremy Callaway goes all the way. Coming into your living room, 20 yards, 13 zip, Elk Grove. They go back to work methodically. On the ground, Lance Briggs, third and nine, he picks up 22 yards. And from there, Jeremy Callaway goes all the way. Coming into your living room, 20 yards, 13 zip, Elk Grove. And Baines cuts it right up the middle as Grant cuts the lead to 10-8. But Elk Grove strikes back. No, it's not a Star Wars sequel. It's a horror flick for Pacer fans. Big Lance Briggs, 38 yards. A key touchdown just before the half as the Herd head to the locker room up 17 to eight. Yes, all week long, people wondered how Elk Grove would stop Ontario Smith. Maybe they should have asked, how is Grant gonna stop Lance Briggs? Let's just say the Pacers will have all winter to try and figure that out. 51 yards, 24 to eight, Herd and Briggs contributes on both sides of the ball, recovering the one of eight fumbled exchanges on the night, when two plays later, Lance Briggs proves that 27 equals six. Yes, number 27, six more points, 29 yards,